waiting on UPS and uh, kind of got a little bored and realized that I have a ton of stuff back here that I could clean up and rearrange and just make a little easier in general for people to come and buy parts. So the plan is to put on some music, stick this thing in a corner and do a time lapse and hopefully get this place looking a little more respectable and ready for when my rims come. I can just do the rims and tires and then start on my wide body, which is right there in the gray. So the plan is to just get everything kind of straightened up a little bit better than it is right now. You gonna help, pig? Huh? You gonna help? That's a little boy. I think I got everything accomplished I want to accomplish. Got the rims and tires ready. I need to break these tires off, sell those rims, and then put these tires on the rims that are coming today. I have Steelys with 14s, a full set of daisies or whatever they're called, sunflowers. These guys stock me out of rims in black with some shit tires on them. And then I've got these two in silver with some pretty decent, what are those, Toyos? Two spares, and then I'm going to have another stack of Steelys with snow tires on them that will go in another pile. This is up for sale on Craigslist. Got this room kind of arranged the way I want. Got stuff over here, door panel shit, mufflers, a new radiator with both fans, bumpers, dash, seat stuff, my trunk lids, my front and rear fenders. Shit, I should have put the gray ones on the outside since I need those. Oh well. Top with good latches. The frame's good. The top's just shit, but it does have a glass rear window, which kind of sucks. Four doors. I think that's both sides. Yeah. So now I have driver side and passenger side doors each. And this obviously needs to be rearranged, but whatever. I can get to everything. So we've got tons of Miata parts as needed. And then I got an ad on Craigslist in the free section posted for scrap and somebody's gonna come and pick up all this scrap metal and they have to take the rest of it with them that's part of the deal happens all the time I do this about once every couple of months they come and get it in no time so now I'm just waiting on somebody to come and get that stuff and that right pig and then I can go up front and do some general cleaning in the front garage and then once the front garage is cleaned up probably tomorrow to kill some time I'll do the stuff I ordered for the Harley and then the Harley will be a running riding bike with no problems or issues or anything no oil leaks so no one will have any reason not to buy it and maybe i don't know maybe i'll go for a ride on it i think that was it just a short video You're just cleaning nothing really happening this week because i'm going to be doing those rims so i'm kind of just finding money for breaking these off because that's going to probably cost me five ten dollars a piece just to take the tires off of these rims and then i'm going to need probably another ten to twenty dollars a piece to put them on to the steel rims that are coming the shitty part is because because they are racing rims and they're custom made and blah 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 and they're punched out of steel so they're not hub centric balanced like this is the hub and normally there'll just be a spike coming out of here with threads and they just screw it down to this and they balance the rim and tire that way because this hole is just punched apparently that is not perfectly centered and therefore if you balance from here it's not going to balance right and that's probably the problem i had with the last steel rims no matter what we did we couldn't get them to balance it if the balance would walk around we'd have to put weight here and then it would be over here and then it, and i think it was because we were balancing them from the center so these are being steel they need to be balanced from the lug so i've got to find probably a race car place in town that has a lug balancer so that's going to be difficult and i'm sure it's not going to be 
as cheap as regular balancing so there's that and then I also want to get a yellow paint pen and I'm going to color in the Goodyear part and then I may do like I did before a yellow stripe I haven't decided yet because they don't exactly line up where I'd want to I might do them right here or something but then it's going to be next to the I don't know I just really like a yellow stripe on the tire it looks cool when it's spinning <sighs> looks like rain's coming that's pretty much it for the day so be sure to comment be sure to share on social media Facebook Instagram Garage Amino etc like if you liked and subscribe if you want to be instantly notified when I upload a new video it'll email you or hit you on your mobile notifications I'm not sure how that works each phone is different so you have to set it up for your phone but it'll notify you as soon as a new video uploads that's the whole point in subscribing so be sure to like if you like subscribe if you want and as always guys keep modding oh my god that is some serious lip holy shit yeah so these are freaking wide and one inch backspace definitely think they're gonna poke out <laughs> all right